Okay, we're here at 415 East Poppy Fields Drive here in Altadena. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. You obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. We're here to check the main line, and we're going to run our camera from two clean-outs, two four-inch clean-outs. One located here, uh, you know, like where the pipe kind of exits the house, and um, one where the on the right hand side like an end of a line clean out you can pretty much see the plumbing underneath the house but of course you're going to have your general inspector he's physically going to look at the pipe and uh, we're here to check the main sewer line and this inspection is based on my opinion so we started off by running our camera from this four inch clean out located here if you face the house on the right hand side it's outside of the house and we're all the way out to the city connection in the street so there's the city sewer flowing by over there so we're going to bring the camera back here so here's the connection to the city right over there got some very minor little roots coming in through the coupling over here and then it starts to come up yeah you see little go forward you see the slight little shift here in the line over here, but in, in my opinion, there's nothing really wrong with that. You see right over there, because it, what's happening is the, the pipe is being kicked downwards. Now, the thing is, it's, there's no roots getting in over there. Uh, the, it's not going to stop the flow of the water. So in my opinion, this is in pretty good condition. Um, it's a big six inch clay pa pipe as well and it dives down after this over here So we're going to bring the camera back now remember we're looking for big problems in the sewer line like big holes massive dislocations Massive roots things like that uh, But basically in this six inch lateral you can see it looks pretty good I mean there are some little roots getting in through the couplings over here uh, This is very common. You're going to find roots growing through into couplings uh, in a clay pipe um, it can be easily cleaned out with some periodic cleaning or whatever but in actual fact it's in actually pretty decent condition so here it comes onto the property over here it's going to change to a four inch clay pipe there's the test T over there. <coughs> now, you're probably going to need some periodic cleaning once in a while. But as of today, this looks like it's in pretty good condition. Uh, the thing is, when we get to this clean out over here, it's like right next to these little birch trees that are very aggressive. And there's quite a big root coming in right at the connection at the clean out and the four inch clay pipe and we'll show you that when we come back here so technically speaking it would probably wouldn't be a bad idea to fix that because you can see everything going downstream from here is in pretty good condition So we're getting very close to this big heavy root that I was talking about and it's like right over here you see that's a pretty heavy root and there so okay well as it comes back out of the cleaner so uh, either you're going to have to maintain it with some periodic cleaning or you can um, you can just fix that over here because that's really the worst part of it uh, okay we're going to go ahead we're going to pause the recording oh hang on a little bit shifted over there okay let me just pause okay so what we're doing is we're running our camera from the four inch clean out located on the right hand side of the house this is where the two little bathrooms are located uh, and uh, we've got our camera in like 87 feet what it does is it actually goes to the back of the house makes a, a u-turn then comes down the side of the house and then connects to this clean out where we're with our camera right now now <coughs> you're going to see that when we pull the camera back underneath the house 
the cast iron pipe is is got roots in it. It's pretty much at the end of its life. And when it exits the house, there's a very big shift in the line. We had a difficult time getting our camera through there. So what we're going to recommend is that the plumbing, the uh, sewer line underneath the house be replaced and then the old pipe abandoned and run a new line in a different direction with a more straight shot out to this clean out over here where we're at. That's what you're looking at where the big root is and then we can fix that all in one time, one shot. That's what we would recommend over here. So right now we have our camera in. We're all the way out to the clean out that we started our inspection from. You can see the big root ahead over there. So we're going to bring the camera back. So this is a clay pipe that runs on the side of the house towards the back. Now even though this is all in pretty decent condition over here, uh, the, the route that the sewer line is taking is making a whole U-turn and that's really not good if it was all in good condition i would say okay but you're going to see that underneath the house the cast iron pride is pretty much at the end of its life so we're going to keep coming back along the side of the house on the right hand side it starts heading all the way to the back Right here is where it turns at the back. And it's going to make another turn real soon. Right over here, that's where it turns. And this is where the pipe is very badly dislocated right over there. You see there? That's where the pipe exits the house at the back and makes like a complete U-turn. Uh, then we come underneath the house with a cast iron pipe. We have to run a lot of water to get the, our camera. You see there's roots here getting into the cast iron pipe. That's a pretty much at the end of its life, this cast iron. So we're going to recommend that this be abandoned and that a new line be taken. From underneath the house, we could just redo it. And then here's the plastic to the clean out. And here we are on the outside of the house, and we'll go ahead and stop the recording over here.